What's up guys, I'm here with another video and I'm at this new body of water I've never been to before. It used to be closed off to the public but now it's open. <coughs> so me and my dad are going to try it out. And I'm going to be at another lake which you guys, have, which I was at before. But I didn't really catch anything at because I didn't really film there. You know, I should have. Fishing this lake I was at last week from a different spot. There's a crappie right there. It's a little white crappie. And there's tons of carp in the area and there's tons of little bass. There's a few big ones. On, I think they're on beds because they're just they're chasing away other fish. I hope I can get a bass on a Sanko. If I put the a brush hog on it, maybe. Because low key, I ran out of craws because I freaking lost them all. Some idiot. Bread, stay on. No. It's landing right next to your face, carp. Oh, he's eating it. Oh! I break him off the hook. Oh, nice bass. No, it's a bass. It's a bass. Nice bass on a bed. I think that was on a bed. Yeah. This one's probably about, almost two pounds, about 15 inches. Yeah. I thought it was a spotted bass at first. I'm like, no, there's no spotted bass in here. Yeah. There's a problem with this spot. There's really no place to cast that well. You got bushes on both sides of you. There's a little bass right there. Right out there. I see he's interested in this. That was a shitty cast. Oh, I scared him. Oh, I got him. I'm hoping there's a ton of these in that canal when I'm about to go next. Little baby bass. Stocky for a little fish. Breaking news. We just found a new area to fish. It's this canal, but down there. It used to be, it used to be propagation area, so you weren't allowed on it on this side, but I could fish on that side, but a lot of the fish are on this side. So, and I did, I think I did lose a carp or a catfish at this spot, I don't know. It was orange. This used to be all cattails. We're all like, oh, that bass wants it. All little like weeds like this, like lily pads. So nothing really, really couldn't cast in here. But I always see jump, fish jump like on that side over in there. So now it's cleared. I made it a boat launch. It's really helpful because this part goes right out into the lake. That was, that was a bluegill and I just didn't pay attention. Oh, come on. It's a mosquito biting me at the same time. There it is. A little blue gill. Come here. There's a blue gill. There's a lot of them this size in here. Hopefully there's bigger ones. We just got a giant fish out of there. Giant blue gills. Get a release. There's a fish. Little bass. What? You caught a carp? Little tiny bass. My dad just caught a carp, so I'm gonna go over by him.
That's a better fish. Never mind. I was just kidding. Really pale fish. Really pale bluegill. He nailed it though. Thought it was a bass. Here's a fish. Oh, a perch. Little tiny perch. Little yellowfin perch. <laughs> Another perch. This is even smaller. This is a lot. Oh my god, they have so many spines. Another perch. Ow. See if you, I don't want to eat it. Look at me for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. This new body of water is pretty cool. Not really impressed with the fish, but there's got to be some big ones in there. And I'm still waiting for the rod to go off behind me. Just flash around all out there, but my dad caught one right out, right over in there. But he wants to try to eat it. I don't know how carpet. You guys let me know how carpet. He wants to try smoking it or pickling it or something like that. I heard you take out the mud vein. They're fine. Anyway. I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, do all that. See you guys next time.